Now you are watching 8th class mathematics, 3rd unit, XS 3.2. XS 3.2 deals with the square root of a number. Still now you have learned what is a square number. What is a square number? Right? What are the square numbers? 4, 16, 25, 36, 49 and so on. These are all square numbers. Now you are going to learn square root. What is square root? How to represent square root? How we are representing square? We are representing square as n square. n will be the any number. And how to represent square root? Square root is like this. The representation of square root is like this. If there is a question, find the square root of 4. Square root of 4 means what is 4? 2 into 2. Out of 2 2s, you will get only 1 2. Okay. It means 2 square. 2 square and square root will get cancelled. The answer will be 2. You no need to cancel also. Just 2 is a natural number. When you multiply 2 with 2, you will get 4. 2 identical numbers. That is called square number. The reverse process is called square root. So, what is the square root of 49? 7. That's it. So, how to find the uh, square root? Uh, how to find the square? You, le you learn still now. Now, in this exercise, by square number, we are going to get the square root. Understand? So, do not, please do not forget. Square of... 2 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Okay. Square of 2 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Understand? Okay. So, there are different methods to find out the square root of given number. I am going to explain all those methods while explaining the Problems in excess 3.2. So, let us move to the excess 3.2. The first question. The first question is. Find the square root of each of the following numbers by repeated subtraction. This is one of the method to find out the square root. Okay. To find the square, we used uh, addition. But for square root, we have to use subtraction. First one. A. Please copy the complete question. 121. Now, we have to find the square root for 121 by using repeated subtraction. This process, how to apply this process is, first of all, we have to subtract this number with odd numbers. 121 minus 1 is 120. Now, 120 minus 3. What is the answer? 117. Next. 117 minus 5. Next odd number is 5 only. No. 112. 112 minus 7. 105. 105 minus 9. 105 minus 9. 96. Next. 96 minus 11. 85. 85 minus 13. 72. 72 minus this time 15. The answer will be 57. Now 57 minus 17. Now this will be 40. 40 now. Next 40 minus 19. 10 minus 1, 1. 3 minus 21. 21 minus next one is 21. 0. So we have to done up to we will get 0. So how many subtractions we have done? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So how many subtractions we have then? Eleven. Therefore, the square root of one twenty one is eleven. We have to subtract the subtract this number with odd numbers. With odd numbers, when while the process is going on, the process has to be going on up to we will reach zero. Whenever it is zero, now we have to calculate how many subtractions we have done. That that will be the answer. Actually, level eleven sir, one twenty one only. But how this is one method to find out the square root of given number. Understand? Next one. Let me explain. B. One hundred and sixty nine. Okay. One sixty nine minus one, one sixty eight. One sixty eight minus three, one sixty five. One sixty five minus five, one sixty. Right? If you done at least one subtraction wrong, the whole problem will you will get wrong answer. So please do the subtractions carefully. Next. One sixty minus seven, one hundred fifty three. One hundred fifty three minus nine. One hundred fifty three minus nine is one hundred and forty four. One hundred forty four. Next, one hundred and forty four minus eleven. One hundred and thirty three. One hundred and thirty-three minus thirteen. One hundred and twenty. One hundred and twenty minus fifteen. It will be one not five. One not five minus six. Ah, uh, sorry, seventeen. No, next odd number seventeen. The answer will be. The answer is eighty-two. One not five minus seventeen. Okay, fifteen minus seven. Fifteen minus seven is eight. Nine minus one is eight. Eighty-eight is the answer. See, there is a mistake here. Now, eighty-eight minus nineteen. Eighty-eight minus nineteen. Eighteen minus Nine nine seven minus one six sixty nine sixty nine minus twenty one minus twenty one forty eight forty eight forty eight minus twenty three five four minus two twenty. Five. Next, twenty-five minus twenty-five, zero. Okay. So how many subtractions we have done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Total thirteen subtractions. Therefore, the square root of one sixty-nine is equals to thirteen. In the previous exercise, to find out the square of a number, we did the addition. For square root, we have to do the subtraction. Okay. Like this, you have to do the remaining all in the maths HW. Next one. Find the square root of each of the following numbers by prime factorization. Okay. Here also we have to find the square root, but by using prime factorization. But here by using repeated subtraction. Now we have to do by using prime factorization. So first one is one zero two four, one zero two four. Write the prime factors for one zero two four. Two into five twelve. It means two into two into. Um, 
2 2's 2 5's 2 6 next 2 into 2 into 2 1's 2 2's 2 8 uh, I wasted 2 here right next 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 6 2 4's next 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 32 next 2 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 1's 2 6 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 I forgot one more 2 here so 2 into 2 into 2 like this you have to write 7 and for 8 2 into 2 into 2 so total how many 2's are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 twos. Means for these twos. Totally 10 twos are there. But out of uh, two, two twos, we have to take only one two as a common. It means two square. Two into two, two square. Into two square. Into two square. Into 2 square into 2 square. Now, square root of 1024 is equals to square root of 2 square into 2 square into 2 square into 2 square into 2 square. Okay. By uh, after square root, we have to write 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8, 8 twos are 16, 16 twos are 32. So, square root of 1024 is 32. First, how to find this? By using prime factorization. By finding the prime factorization of the number, we have to find out the square root. Out of, uh, if, if it is a square root, the square root will get cancelled. Um, we have out of two twos, only one two will come out. Okay. Like this, let us find the square root for the next number. 11.56. Right? 11.56. Two into two fives, two sevens, two eights, two twos, two eights, two nines. Next step. Two eighty nine is a is a multiple of seventeen. Two into two into seventeen into seventeen. Therefore, square root of thousand one fifty six is equal to square root of 2 square into 17 square it means 2 into 17 whole square 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 will get cancelled 2 into 17 the answer is 34 understand now in the same way you have to do remaining all questions in the maths hw next find the least number by which each of the given numbers should be multiplied so as so as to get a perfect square also find the square root of the resulting number okay it's look like a tough question but it's an easy question what they're asking is this is not a perfect square but by multiplying which number this number will become perfect square okay and at last we have to find out the square root of that number also that is the question. Third one. Please copy the complete question all the time. 1260. Let us find the prime factors for 1260 by using the division method. Okay. 1260. 
टू सिक्स टू थ्री जीरो नैक्स्ट टू थ्री टू वन टू फाइव नैक्स्ट फाइव सिक्स फाइव थ्री सिक्सटी थ्री सिक्सटी थ्री मीन सेवन नईन फर् नईन थ्री थ्री ओके सो थौसंड टू सिक्सटी ईक्वल टू टू इंटू टू इंटू फाइव इंटू सेवन इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री सो टू स्क्वे थ्री स्क्वे बट फर् फाइव अंड सेवन देर इज नो पेस फर् फाइव अंड सेवन सो इफ यू मलटिप्लै द रिसलट वि फाइव अंड सेवन वी विल गेट ए पर्फेक्ट स्क्वे रईट therefore thousand two sixty into five into seven that is equals to thousand two sixty into seven five is thirty five two square into three square into five square into seven square so by which number we have to multiply by thirty five so 35 will be the answer after getting 35 they ask that only right see observe the question find the least number by which each of the given number should be multiplied by which number we multiplied so as to get the perfect square so we got the number 35 we no need to multiply with 1260 with 35 forget about that okay so the number is 35 Now also find the square root of the resulting number. Okay, so the square root is the number is thirty-five. Square root is square root of Two square into three square into five square into seven square. That means two into three into five into seven whole square. Square square will get cancelled. Two into three into five into seven. Two three is our six. Six five is our thirty. And thirty uh, into seven is two ten. Two ten is the square root of the number. Okay. In the same way, the, one more question, three fifty. Three fifty. Five seven is thirty five. Next zero. Five one is five two. Five four is twenty. Two seven. Now three fifty is equals to five into. Five into two into seven. Okay, by multiplying this with one more two and seven, we will get a perfect square. Therefore, the number two get a perfect square. Is equals to fourteen, and square root is equals to square root of five square into two square into seven square. It means five into two into seven whole square. That equals to five into two into seven. Five two is a ten. Ten seven is a seventy. Okay, like this you have to do the remaining all. Next, find the least number by which each of the given number should be divided. Here it is divided. Here it is. Sorry, previous question is multiplied, and this question is divided. So as to get the perfect square. Also find the square root of the resulting number. Okay, same process. But here it is. We have to remove the numbers. 
no, no need to add the numbers. First one, 1575. 1575. 5 threes, 5 ones, 5 twenty fives. 5 six, 5 threes. Next, 3 twos, 3 ones. Next, 3 sevens. Okay. 1575 is equals to 5 into 5 into 3 into 3 into 7. It means 5 square into 3 square into 7. So, to make it a perfect square, to if you multiply, you have to multiply with 7. But what is they are asking? By which number we have divide? Divide means we have to take out, we have to remove. If you remove this, then also it will be a perfect square or not. So, which number we have to remove? Therefore, the number divided to get perfect square is 7. And, what, and uh, after removing, we have to find out the square root also. Square root, right? 5 square into 3 square is equals to 5 into 3 whole square. So, 15 into, sorry, 5 into 3 means 15 is the answer. Now, I just explained only one question here. You have to do remaining all by your own. I am moving to the next one. Which of the following numbers cannot be a perfect square? Out of these, which are not perfect square, we ha you have to find out. To find out, will you do calculations? No need. These are simple questions only. 64. What is the square root of 64? 8. 8 eights are 64 or not? Let me explain. Fifth one. A. What's the first one? 64,000. 64,000. 8 eights are 64. 80 into 80, 8 eights are 64. 6400. 800 into 800, 8 eights are 64. Two zeros, two zeros. Means total four zeros will be there. Okay. But here, how many zeros are there? Three zeros. Therefore, 64,000 is not a perfect square. In the same way. B, 225. It is 15 15. 5 fives are 25. 5 ones are 5, 7. 5 ones are 5, 1 ones are 1. Right? Therefore, 225 is a perfect square. Understand? Like this, check out for C, D, E. Next, sixth one. Find the smallest square number which is divisible by each of the following numbers. Okay, 9, 5 and 20. By using these numbers, we have to find out the square number. That square number should be divisible by all these three. Okay. So, to find out that number, what we have to do now? First of all, we have to know the, the least common multiple of these three numbers. LCM of 9, 15 and 20. 9, 15, 20, right? 3, 3, 3, 5, 20. 5, 1s, 5, 4s. 2, 3, 1, 2, 2s. So, that is equals to 3 into 5 into 3 into um, 2, right? 3 square into 5 into 
2 square. So, for 3 and 2, there is a square. But for 5, there is no square. So, by which number? We have to multiply now to get a perfect square. 5. Therefore, to make a perfect square, multiply with 5. That is equals to 3 square into 5 into 2 square into 5. Then it will become 3 square into 5 square into 2 square. Okay, so the answer will be 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 2 into 2. 3 3 is at 9. Oh my god. 3 3 is at 9. 9 5 is at 45. 45 5s. Calculate. 45, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 20, 22, 22, so 225 into 4, 5, 4, 20, 4, 2, 8, 10, 4, 2, 8, 900, therefore 900 is the multiple which can be multiple, uh, is a divisible number by 9, 5 and 20. Understand? By this the excess 3.2 is completed. If you have any doubts, please play back the video and ping me in the WhatsApp. Bye for now.